ReadyGen Text Collection, Grade 1, Unit 5. I found this in a free pile where, uh, in addition to the libraries, where I get some of my books, and um, I really liked some of the cool astronomy stuff that's in here. But you can read about the rest of it um, on your own if you can find this. You know, I don't actually know that this is a book that I can give you for sale. So if you want to hear any of the rest of these, let me know. Um, but I'm going to read Let's Visit the Moon, Observing the Messages of the Natural World. Let's Visit the Moon by Patricia Newman. Look up at the night sky. Do you see the moon? Maybe it glows like a silver ball. Maybe it's a thin strip of light. Sometimes you can see the moon during the day. What is the moon made of? Why does it change shape? How does it move through space? Let's discover the moon's secrets together. The moon is different from the sun. It is not as bright. The sun is a star. The moon is not a star. The moon is more like Earth than the sun. Gray soil covers the moon. It has gray rocks and bits of glass, too. We say the moon shines, but it does not make its own light. The moon uses the sunlight, the sun's light. Long ago, American Indians told time with the moon. They talked about two moons ago, not two months ago. They also believed the moon and the sun were gods. Some people believed that a wolf sung the moon into existence. Others said the moon was made of fire. Still others had the silly idea that it was a ball of cream cheese. Do you see the dark spots on the moon? Some people thought the spots made a face. They called the spots the man in the moon. Look at the moon when it is full. Do you see how the spots look like a face? Over 400 years ago, a scientist named Galileo looked at the moon through a telescope. The telescope made the moon look closer. It helped him see objects that people never saw before. Scientists discussed new ideas about the moon. Galileo thought the moon looked a great deal like Earth. Both have tall mountains. Both have deep valleys. He also saw big, flat spots. He thought the spots were oceans. Many years later, stronger telescopes were built. Scientists could see more. They found that Galileo's oceans were dry. The dry oceans were really deep holes or craters. Long ago, rocks flying through space hit the moon and made these craters. Flying space rocks are called meteors. They're called meteorites when they hit Earth. They come in all sizes and shapes. They travel very fast. They often hit the moon because the moon has no air to stop them or slow them down. Only a few meteorites ever hit Earth. They almost always burn up in our air before landing. When it rains on Earth, craters fill with water, rocks, and dirt. But it never rains on the moon. The moon has no rivers or oceans. Plants and animals cannot live on the moon. The moon has no wind to blow the soil. The craters never fill in. Many moon craters are millions of years old. Some craters are miles wide. Others are only one foot wide. From Earth, the moon looks as big as the sun. If you put the moon and sun side by side, you would be surprised at how much smaller the moon is. It would look tiny next to the sun. The moon is really 400 times smaller than the sun. The moon is close to Earth. This is why it looks big to us. A rocket ship from Earth travels about 238,000 miles to reach the moon. The trip takes about six days. The sun is very far from Earth. It is about 93 million miles away. It is not yet possible for people to travel that far into space. The moon is about 2,160 miles across its center. It would take an adult more than 200 hours to ride a bike that far. Earth is about 8,000 miles across its center. 
That is nearly four times bigger than the moon. Imagine a basketball next to a tennis ball. That is how Earth and the moon compare in size. The moon and the Earth always move through space. The moon moves in a path around Earth. The path is called an orbit. While the moon orbits the Earth, the Earth orbits the sun. The moon needs about 27 days to travel around Earth. The Earth needs one whole year to orbit the moon, the sun. That's 365 days. On Earth, we never see the far side of the moon. It always faces away from us. The Soviet Union sent a rocket into space in 1959. It took the first pictures of the far side of the moon. The photos show that the moon's far side has many more mountains than the side we can see. But the Earth and the moon get their light from the sun. Sunlight hits the moon. The light bounces. We see the moon because the sun's light bounces off of it. We see only the part of the moon lit by the sun. Sometimes we see the edges of a new moon. A few days later, we see the edges of a new moon. A few days later, we see a, see a thin strip of light. The strip looks like a bandana, a, a banana. It is called a crescent moon. Each day, we see more of the sun's light on the moon. Then, one day, we see a round moon. It looks like a silver quarter in the sky. It is called a full moon. Scientists say the moon is going through phases when we see these different shapes. See, the light is always shining from the same direction. So the moon moves around, and when it's right here, the sun can't shine off of it back towards the Earth. It's just hitting the far side of it. People walked on the moon for the first time on July 20th, 1969. Astronauts Neil Armstrong and Edwin Buzz Aldrin flew a spacecraft called Apollo 11. They landed on the moon. The astronauts wore spacesuits and helmets. They carried air to breathe. They talked to each other by radio. The moon has no air to carry sound. They gathered moon dirt. They gathered moon rocks. They saw tiny holes the size of peas. Only 12 men ever walked on the moon. Their boot prints are most likely still there. The moon is nearly 5 billion years old. Wherever Earth travels, the moon goes with it. Now scientists study the moon with space robots. The robots look at the soil. They try to understand what is under the soil. Maybe one day we will live on the moon. Until we do, we can look at the moon from our backyards. So that was... <laughs> Let's Visit the Moon by Patricia Newman from the collection Observing the Messages of the Natural World, Ready Gen Text Collection Grade 1 Unit 5. And this is EDU Kidspace. Subscribe for more stories, books, and lessons. Uh, hit the bell button so you get notified when I put out a new video. And if you want to hear about something in particular, send me a message on the channel or comment here on the video.